So for anybody that's just tuning in, my name is Joel Duggan and this is The Citadel, a survival Minecraft server where I do some geeky stuff in Minecraft with my friends. And uh, we are starting off here in Dartmouth Meadows because uh, I was doing some work last night on a farm way up in the, uh, in the Mesa and I forgot to take screenshots for my uh, fellow server mates. So I need to go do that and inform everybody that the uh, skeleton farm is now fixed. Um, but uh, I thought it'd be fun to uh, to go and do that at the first part of the stream because uh, we don't often get out to the Mesa. And I, I was pretty happy with the way that the, the, new, the new changes worked out. So we'll go take a look at that. I have another skeleton farm and a zombie farm that I need to update here uh, in the, uh, in the swamp too. Uh, we're not going to do that today. We're going to finish off some ideas I had about the, uh, about the gold farm. We, we finished the, the spawn radius ring around the gold farm yesterday on the stream. And before we get crazy into all the slab action that has to happen, I wanted to fi figure out where the road is going to go. Like we've got one of these cobblestone, kind of three wide, five wide roads going up to the gold farm. And I want to change it. I want to, I want to change the location at which it crosses into the circle. And we're going to make it look a little bit cooler, uh, set up an idea for a design. I think it'll probably still be cobblestone up until it enters the circle. But then after that, we've got some cool stuff going on. So, uh, but in the meantime, I thought I would be able to chat with you guys and hang out while we run to the, uh, run to the Mesa. Zombie pigmen are in my way. Wow. There's a lot of them over here. Is there a ghast up here? Sorry to trail off. Yes, there is. I thought I saw one. Oh, I missed him. How did I miss him? Come on. You drop anything good? I got a ghast head yesterday. Oh, tear. There's usually ghasts out in this area for some reason. Um, what was I saying? Uh, my screen uh, real estate has to be uh, 4K. I don't stream in 4K. I reduce I reduce it to 1920. We've got the changes to this gold farm, or not this gold farm. It's the um, the bone farm. And this is the only thing out here. We've got nothing else up this way, but this is the crazy, the crazy skeleton farm that we've got going on. And if you look at it from the outside here, it was the old um, single water block sign, single water block elevator, but we had to update it to the bubble column with uh, 1.13. And we also, I, because I was working inside the farm, I needed to update it because uh, it didn't have any kind of controls. So now when you're in here, you go down here, see if we have anything good. Now you can hear the spawner is like right down there, but we now have a lights on, lights off switch. So if you're using this farm, you want to make sure that this is in the up position because it'll turn the lights off. This is an indicator lamp that will let you know that if that light is on, then the lights in the farm are on. And this, if it's off, then you know that the spawning is going to happen correctly. And there's a bunch of redstone that's happening right behind this uh, furnace, which I thought was actually really smart. Uh, I'm quite happy with it. I didn't look up a design. I actually used my own redstone knowledge to, uh, to make it work. So we'll see if we can see any, there might be some skeletons coming. Oh, yeah. So there they go. So they get shot up and they come across here and then they fall down. And it's set up so that you can use it as a XP farm if you want, or you can just let them die on the magma. They should maybe fall one block farther. Uh, I have not a problem with these elevators and these drop. I find since 1.13, the drop uh, accuracy is off. So right now it takes two punches with your bare fist to kill them. But if you, if I drop them from another block higher, they die instantly. It's weird. I don't know what the problem is, but if you wanted to switch this, all you have to do is retract the magma and then extend the log. And then he sits there and say like, if I just punch him with this gas tier, now, granted, okay, this guy's got armor, so that this is this is not a good example. But if he was just a, a bare skeleton, then it would take two hits to kill him when really it should be one. Um, so I'm not sure what's up there. But to put it in automatic mode, you just kind of do that. Uh, and then it sucks everything down into the storage system below, which is great. And that was all set up before. That's, that's nothing new. 
Um, but if we go around the back, I discovered that it's a lot easier to uh, to get over here. Yeah, see, now they're just dying. Uh, if we go over this way, there's a back way into the mine, and we can just go down and check out all the changes. I think this is it. I mean, there's a bunch of bunch of ways in here. Yes, here we go. So I, I made a bunch of changes uh, to this. There are now redstone lamps, uh, even with the uh, the spawner inside. So the spawning area is this white terracotta, and behind each one of these blocks is a lamp. So it gets powered that way. I have to go around this way, and it gets powered on the other side here, and then the last lamp is there on the last on the back side, and. The way that the redstone works you can't really see it i'm not going to tear into it but that furnace is right above that piston so we've got we've got a couple of blocks of redstone where it's just like you know a comparator into a torch into a, into a redstone dust that powers that block there and what that does is just extend this redstone block so we've got another switch down here that does the same thing so that lights up that dot these repeaters take the signal out of these blocks this is on and then if we look inside real quick just briefly then you can see that all the other all the other spawners or the lights are on and that will shut off the spawner not that you really need to shut it off it's more for just if we ever have to fix it or something but this is really meant to stay in the off position and it's meant to be controlled from from above and then over on this side i took the time to control this now that i can't find a way to do a one wide bu bubble column elevator for mobs uh, without them getting stuck. Now it's not a big deal because the next skeleton that comes along, if you keep this three high, like if you keep this to only three signs, then the next skeleton that comes in hits his feet and pushes him into the water stream. And I wanna say one in every four skeletons will actually just get straight through. So these guys might all just end up going straight through. Sometimes they get caught, sometimes they stop. See, he stopped and then he he continued on his own. But sometimes they hang out there forever and they have to wait for the next guy to come along. Uh, but for now, I'm quite happy with that. That's efficient enough. We're not losing any, any skeletons. Plus it's a spawner, so it's an endless stream of these dudes. And uh, whenever I do these spawners, I like to have some way of being able to see that they're working rather than having it all be completely enclosed. I'm not worried about any light leak going in through there. I think it would be pretty minimal to say the least. Yeah, so this guy's stuck. And if we wait, we should see the next skeleton hit his feet and just push him just that extra little half block to get him over into the other side. Hey, Anagram, thanks for coming by. Good to see you. See, watch. He just pushes that guy in and pushes him up. So this is pretty widespread online, but if you want to see, I don't know if we can see it. I might be able to just pillar up here if I have a block. I don't, ah, uh, maybe my, I might be able to get up high enough if I stand on this. So if I do this, you can't see it. There's a cobblestone wall underneath that water block. So it's actually one below the soul sand. So this is water and this is water. But then on the block right down there, there's a cobblestone wall and that's what pushes them up. If you want a true elevator now that shoots them straight up every time, then this column where this guy is hanging out right here has to be air. It has to be all signs or all fence gates or something that will um, hold back the water but leave an open gap. Because essentially they don't travel up the middle of the bubble column, they travel up the edge uh, in that kind of situation. But because this is not a brand new farm, this is a retrofit, to an old 1.12 farm, I thought that this was a, a, a good solution. So what I wanted to do while I'm here is, uh, I forgot, I was all the way out here last night and I forgot to take screenshots <laughs> to tell everybody on the server that we now have, that we now have this sorted out. So that's one and we can get another one of the viewing area. And I think the other one that I forgot is actually a, screenshot of the button or the switch the lever so today anagram we're just uh we're taking a look at some redstone that i did last night and then we're going to do work on the gold farm path that's the plan but i wanted to come out here and do this before i forgot plus i thought it would be kind of a fun 
a fun run and chat with folks on the street. This looks really cool from Moat's side. I really like this build. It was a lot of fun to do. There's a lot of mobs around here, though. This is why there's all these double, double fence gates and stuff. So the last screenshot that I need to tell everybody is this. Cool. Do we get anything good? I'm not seeing any enchanted stuff drop, which is concerning. Lots of arrows and lots of bones. So mission one, screenshots of skeleton farm update complete. It's a great farm. I love it. Indestructible cobblestone. That's why all my roads in the nether are really ugly. The number of times we've had holes blown in the sandstone path to the desert. Oh goodness. There's a reason it's covered over because it was just getting destroyed all the time. Ring around the gold farm. Hey guys. Hello, Jared. Yes, you are part of the ring team. We finished that yesterday and outside of one mistake, a 128 block radius circle and we only made one little teeny tiny, tiny mistake. Holy smoke, Pixel Riffs with the raid. Dude, thanks so much. I'm going to be hanging out with Pixel Riffs tomorrow. Talking about foxes. All right, I say we are geared and ready to go and work on the gold farm. And I will explain a little bit about what we're doing on the way. Basically, I want to change the staircase going down to the gold farm. And to do that, I need to figure out where the road is going to attach. And to do that, I need to um, move where the road comes into the circle. So I guess we can probably fly. Take this a little bit faster. So here is the approach currently. We come around this corner. But what I wanted to do is change probably this intersection. I do like the angle. I want a nice angled road. But I thought it would be good if we came in at the angle at which the circle has this straight line. See this, this line of slabs that's all singles? There's 14 of them. And I thought that would be an excellent entrance to the zone of the gold farm. Because look, you can see it right between these two, these two hills. So we can carve this out a little bit and have the road go straight in that way. And what that's going to do, it means that it's not going to be so messy. Oh, someone's being attacked. Who's down here? Is it Alistair? Yep. Alistair's trying to kill that cast. Let's see if I can get him from over here. I got really good at this yesterday. Got him? Oh. Oh, I almost had him that time. It's a great thing about optifying with the with the arrows. Oh, Alistair got him. Nice shot, dude. Uh, so yeah, I got really good at that yesterday because we put in this ring. Let's see if I can show you guys. Where's the ring? There it is there. So this, this thing goes all the way around the gold farm. And what we're going to do is we're going to put in some slabs to help with the, not so much the spawns, but the aggro. The aggro chain gets broken a lot in this farm right now. And so it's, uh, it's a little bit rough. But this road that we're going to work on today is we're going to move this. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to, instead of having it come in at this weird, this weird part of the circle, like I really don't know what to do how to get the road to cross this and have it look neat. So I think if we had the road cross over here, like I mentioned, then this will be a good spot to have the road come in. So it'll be a nice straight angle. So we might have to move this over just a little bit and just come over straight this way. Uh, and we'll, meet, we'll probably dig out some of this. We're probably gonna stick on that angle. I don't wanna go down too low because I like being high when I see the gold farm. So that means that this road here is probably going to end up being over this direction and come at an angle. And then the staircase will change positions. So it'll end up, the staircase will probably end up being down this way somewhere. It's like, it'll start like here. So there's a bunch of stuff we got to figure out, um, but it's going to be pretty chill. Minus all the ghasts <laughs> that are going to be trying to destroy us this whole time. But I think the first thing I need to do is I need to just kind of get some some, uh, some nether rack and some nether bricks smelting. And then we'll figure out where the center point is, which is going to be super easy. 
and then we'll just figure out what height we want to be when we approach that gold farm and then we'll start building the road from there why didn't i build the farm on the roof of the nether says uh addison addison long legs i hope i'm pronouncing your name right uh because i sort of feel like the roof of the nether is a little bit cheaty and uh, we're a small server. There's only really three or four active members. There's maybe 10 people total. And you can still use this farm in the middle of a lava lake, which helps with the spawns incredibly. Like there's not a lot. There's not a lot of nether rack uh, around, this around this farm. We're looking at most of it. There's, there's one more chunk like right over there. But really, most of it is lava lake. So the spawning rates are actually pretty good. The only problem is the aggro chain. It, it's not 100% AFK. You kind of have to check in every 15 or 20 minutes and throw a snowball at a pigman. Not the end of the world, still a fantastic farm. Um, and I've got more gold than I'll ever need already. So it's it's not a big deal. Um, but I just, I didn't want to bother to get above the nether. I don't like the look of the above the nether. I find it kind of boring. So I've got some of this stuff smelting. How are we doing? Okay, these things need some, they need some love. They need some juice. One of these backpack was full of netherrack, I think. Yes. Not sure how many this is, but we'll do one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. I don't want to give all of it because I need, I'm going to want three stacks for me for building. I'm going to need some cobblestone slabs and some cobblestone. We're going to need more slabs than that too. All of a sudden, something like this, when this new circle is put in, just starts to bug me. Like, this just bugs me. <laughs> it's not very attractive, and I'm thinking that a, a better approach is needed. So let's go find out where the middle of these blocks are. I think it starts somewhere around here. It's whenever it goes to all the singles. This is it here. So there should be 14 of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this would be one of the middles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then there's a two. Yep. So it's these, these two. That's, so this is the middle here. So we can just be really really crass with this and just map it out with a couple of torches and what's cool about that is that this middle also is like it's also the direct 45 degree uh angle so it's like the if you think about this like a compass rose if that was east and that is south which is not but then this would be southeast like it's a direct straight line uh, at the middle part so this is the nice this is the center because everything is centered around the player the player standing point so I don't want to come at it at this angle I feel like I want to be higher when we come at it so let's just pop up here I didn't leave myself a space doing hardcore math at the moment the stream is perfect for work nice calm voice oh thank you appreciate that this is this is a pretty chill Minecraft channel in general. So I don't think we want to go any higher than that. I should have checked the Y level of that other. Do I have ender pearls? I do. I should have checked the Y level of this other road because I do like it. It's just in the wrong spot. Tasty Tuna, another funky name with the follow. Thank you, thank you. Good to see a bunch of new folks sticking around. Yeah, okay, so this. That feels pretty good. This isn't too low, but I'd say that this is probably, I'd say I want to stay at this level. What's this? 54.5, so it's 54 with a slab on it. So 54 is where we want to go with the nether rack. And we'll see, so that's going to be higher. So maybe we have to do an arch on the bridge or we could just build up that so that we're flat. Uh, let's go over there. Let's see here. Oh, can I make this? Let's see. <laughs> that was awesome. Uh, two, three, four. Yeah, see, I like seeing the top of the of the farm. 
and that puts us oh wow that's actually going to be in the way good to know that actually might have to come down anyway because i think part of that is inside the circle so that has to be destroyed so we want to be at least this high when we start to curve and head in that direction so let's just do this and we'll see I don't know at what point we want to actually start to curve. And I think it's probably going to be more of a straight, a straight line. I'd say that's actually pretty good here because here's where we'd want to approaching the gold farm. And then we want to turn this way. Yeah. You know what? Let's do it right here. We'll call this the center. And then we'll bridge off in, in this direction. Oh, I wonder if Alistair nailed that guy. Sounded like it. I didn't check. Is that a five wide road? The silly things that I should have checked before I came over here. You got to be careful with the, the ender pearls too, because if you ender pearl into a pigman, then they will get mad. It's only three. Oh, interesting. I think we might want to up it to five. I think making it five might make it easier to do the angle. Yeah, okay. If not, it's only another rack. We can take it down. Uh, don't know if I can do this again now that it's higher. Quit! Okay, that worked. Uh, yeah, let's do five. So let's do uh, that. And that and then there'll have to be another one here yeah so as you're approaching on this bridge oh, wait a minute that's not right one two oh yes because this is gonna head off in this direction so as you're approaching this platform it'll then curve this way yeah I think that looks good True purple. Thanks, man. Whoa. No, 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 no. I've not put, I've not put the cobblestone on yet. It is not time for, oh, geez. What happened there, server? <laughs> Come on. Oh, just, that's going to hit the roof. Oh, got him. Oh, no. Oh, no. Crap. This is bad. 